Sister Swati Minch, Sister Risuk Langwar, Sister Ani Romhangpi, Sister Gloria Eka, Sister S. Priya, Sister Maria Lamnekim, and Sister Angela Niang Saching. Our hearts bring with joy and gratitude for the wonders the Lord has done in our lives and the graces He has stored for us. As our sisters are going to make their final commitment to the Lord on this memorable day. We are here to thank God for the beautiful gift of their vocation to this institute and for the church. We acknowledge their dedication and commitment in undergoing the different stages of formation and allowing themselves to be molded and formed by the Lord. We are here to express our love, appreciation, thanks, and to celebrate the unique way in which each one of them had been part of God's plan. These sisters are willingly and ready to commit themselves totally to the Lord who has called them by name with a prophetic word. Before I form you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. Says St. Paul to the Roman, chapter 14, verse 8. This is a call of all of us, and our response of yes is not so much because of us, but because of the grace of God, which calls us and sustains us. It is to this self-giving, self-sacrificing love that He calls us. Our founders, Venerable Mother Serafina prays, O oh Jesus, I renounce everything in order to obtain your love. I am ready to walk the uneven path that leads to you so that I can live in your heart, which is life of my heart and the heart of my life. Answering to God's call in a complete way through the vows of religious life and through the daily living of those promises, religious vocation can be lived to its fullest with joy and hope. Dear sisters, as you have reached to a major milestone of your life, through the final commitment that you make today to continue to serve the Lord and His people, may all the saints accompany you and very especially our patron saints, Saint Francis, Saint Claire, and Venerable Mother Serafina bless you guide you and accompany you to walk in his ways and to live for him alone all the days of your life. May you be inflamed with the fire of his love to be the powerful witness of the Eucharistic love to all. And like Blessed Virgin Mary, may you witness of the Eucharistic love to all. And like Blessed Virgin Mary, may you be able to say yes to Him humbly at every moment of ups and downs of life. I humbly acknowledge the benign presence of our beloved Archbishop John Munajira, who consented to preside over this Holy Eucharist and bring down God's blessings upon us. We welcome you, Your Grace, this day is also blessed by the graceful presence of our dear fathers. 
sisters and everyone here. Therefore, on behalf of all the sisters in Mother Serafina province, I stand here to extend a hearty welcome to every one present here. Hearty welcome to one and all. Now, let us enter into this divine meal with great devotion and love and experience the presence of all the angels and saints as we begin the Eucharistic celebration. Kindly rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, it is a day of joy for all of us. Our learned sisters are very happy because they have all the chance to make a final profession and become members of the CFO Master's congregation. The provincial and the whole province is happy because they are getting another 11, 11 more sisters to be part of their charism and to fulfill the charism. I as an archbishop representing the church, we are happy because we have got so many more sisters who will be praying to God and who will be continuing the work of Jesus Christ in different places in the Northeast and elsewhere. So we thank God for all of you. We thank God for this congregation. We ask God to bless all of you, especially those who are going to make the final profession so that you may be able to fulfill the will of God to the best of your ability and that the Spirit may guide and protect you as you walk along your path. I confess to Almighty God and to your brothers and sisters that I am a great saint in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have prayed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most greatest faults. Therefore, I ask the Lord of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
willed that the grace of baptism should flourish in these your servants so that they might strive to follow more closely in the footsteps of your son grant we pray that constantly seeking evangelical perfection they may add to the holiness of your church and increase her apostolic zeal through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is from the Song of Songs, chapter 8, verses 6 to 7, is the portrait of true love, which is as strong as death which can be seen as the eternal union of God with his people. The love of the jealous God is strong, and strong also in the love that he puts in the heart of his children. As we listen this song of love, let us also be reminded of the Pauline exclamation, who will separate us from the love of Christ? Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm. For love is strong as death, passion fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can flats drown it. If one offered for love all the wealth of his house, it would be utterly scorned. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to your son, our response.
brothers and sisters, mothers and children and thieves with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord The writer profession begins now. Reverend Sister Rajni Putan Purangal, mistress of the juniors, will call out those to be professed by name and they will respond, echoing the words of the prophet Samuel, saying, Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. They will also express their desire to dedicate their whole lives to God and for His service. Sister Sunita Kesh, Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Sister Monika Narsali, Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Sister Anita Soy, Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Sister Francisca Dani, Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Sister Swati Minch, Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Sister Resutlangwa, Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Sister Annie Rohanti, Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Sister Gloria Irka. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Sister S. Priya. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Sister Maria Nam Naikim. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Sister Angela Nian Searching. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. The celebrant will question our sisters on their readiness to dedicate themselves and the service of the Lord. My dear daughters, what do you ask of God and of His Church? We ask that we may follow Christ, our spouse, and persevere in this religious community of the CFMSS until death. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Dear Sister Provincial, Reverend Fathers, Sisters and many of friends, our hearty congratulations to the 11 sisters who are going to make their final profession. We appreciate your decision to be consecrated persons and live like a religious all through your life. We are, you recognize the challenges of living according to the evangelical counsels of poverty, scarcity, and obedience. You have already experienced this form of life for the last several years as junior sisters. And are sure, with God's grace, you will be able to live a life of faithfulness in your vocation. You also know the joys of the life of consecration. It is like living a life of intimacy with the Lord Jesus. It is a call to live in communities with like-minded persons. It is a call to be always available to God, to be where He sends you and do whatever He tells you manifested through your superiors. I congratulate the congregation the province, the provincial and all her members, God has given you many sisters. 
Today we pray for the sisters. We also that God may give many more occasions to live according to the charism of this congregation. Bible speaks of the relationship between the people of Israel and God in terms of marriage. The people of Israel is the bride and Yahweh is the bridegroom. In New Testament also something similar happens. Saint Paul calls the church the bride and Christ the bridegroom. In marriage, all of you attended marriages. There is an exchange of rings. And if you are coming from the south of India, there will be the tying of the tali. And that also is practiced among all the Hindus. So, what is the meaning of the exchange of rings? You don't put your ring in your finger. You put the ring on the finger of your spouse. It means I am giving myself totally to you. Another person also is symbolically by the giving the ring saying that I give myself totally to you. And what does the Thali tying means? It means usually it is done by the boy not by the girl. I tie you to myself. <laughs> you are permanently mine. And that is what is happening in a religious life also. You will give yourself totally to God or to Christ and Christ says I take you totally to be mine and I won't give you to anybody else. So that is what is happening in a marriage and that is what is happening in a religious life. In the first reading taken from the Song of Songs. So what do we hear? The girl is telling the boy place me as a seal on your heart See you know. Yes. yes. Place me as a seal in your heart and place me as a seal in your arm. So, what is the speciality of a seal? Seal is special because the ink is indelible. It does not go. It remains there. All of you went for voting, you know. It remains more than a month in order to get it out in spite of all our efforts. So, that is what the woman is telling the man, please keep me as a seal in your heart and also as a seal in your arm. I don't know whether you have seen some men tying charms around their arms. Have you seen? Yes. They have seen even some gatherings behind their back they tie the charm around their arm. So it is against a protection against all kinds of <coughs> evils. And why is it tied up here? Because it is closest to the heart. <laughs> yeah, that is the, that is the real, reality. And it is not only followed by the pagans, even the people of Israel follow. Some of the devout people even now follow the system. What do they do? They write the word of God in a small piece of parchment and put it in a small case and tie it around their arms to remind them that the word of God is very much close to their heart. So the God is there and they also believe according to the word of God. So this one, this thing speaks about the intimacy that should exist between both parties, people of Israel and Yahweh, Jesus Christ and the Catholic Church, the bride and the grooms. So in the same way, this profession is God putting a seal upon you or he is taking you and sealing you saying that yes your seal is upon me once upon a time or some years back I saw a weaker general from Germany coming to the archdiocese and one day I saw him reading the bravery somehow the bravery was open I saw so many seals in the front page and back pages I asked why are you putting so many seals so he says, each seal is a seal of a different parish in my archdiocese. So, <laughs> yes, whenever I open the delivery, I see one seal and I pray for that parish. It is a reminder to him that he must pray for that parish. So, when we are put as a seal in Jesus' hands or in the heart or in his arms, we are very much close to him. 
So we say perpetual provision is a permanent covenant. You speak about covenant in the Bible. So marriage is also a covenant. A provision is so is also a covenant of one agreeing to live after the terms and conditions which is agreed. And you hear what happens? You give yourself totally to you, and God says, Christ says, I accept you as my own. Since we belong totally to God, you will belong totally to God. What happens? Saint Paul tells us, set your hearts on things above where Christ is and not on earthly things. So we have been bound to Christ and Christ is above and we are supposed to live setting our hearts on things above. And he carries on explaining. We have not heard the reading. The, the rest of the chapter speaks about the qualities which he expects of persons who are setting their hearts on Christ and living according to the heavenly standards. He says, put on humility meekness, kindness, compassion, for patience and forbearance and above all these things put on love. So these are the qualities of a person who is consecrated, is the quality of those persons who have set his heart in heaven and in Christ. And he says, don't put your heart on earthly things. What are some of the earthly things? Anger, pride, slander, malice, and Pope, or Pope every time speaks about one word. What is that one word? Gossip. So, gossip and all worldly passions and desires and desires and live a holy and blameless life. So, that is what is the police advising all of us. If you are concentrated, our hearts on the top and not on things which are below or those qualities which we find practice everywhere. Now, after living a life of consecration, living according to the evangelical counsels, what reward are you going to get? What reward are you going to get? So that's something which Peter had in mind. So Peter was, Jesus was telling them, if you are about too much wealth, your mind will be always on wealth, you will not reach heaven. It is more hard for you to reach heaven than for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. And for us, Peter was asking Lord, now what happened? We left everything. So he left his nest, his wife, his children, bought everything he left. Not only he, all the days. What will happen to you? And what is Jesus' answer? He says, all who left your brother, sister, father, mother, property, what happens? You are going to get a hundredfold now with the perse persecutions included and with the eternal life in heaven. So, is it so? So you have all left your father and mother, nobody is there to witness your profession. <laughs> so, it is already you left everything and they also left you. But God is going to, God is telling you, yes, you are going to be, find so many people who will give you the affection of a father and mother or the tenderness of a brother or sister. So, it happens only if we are living our vocation as faithfully as possible. Then people appreciate us. And it doesn't mean we will not have persecutions and problems. Jesus tells St. Peter, yes, persecutions included. Although we belong to the Lord, Lord makes us his own. We will have problems and difficulties in our religious life, in our ministry, but we will be able to carry go forward because we know the Lord is with me. I am very close to his heart. So today, on this profession day, we are all here to pray for you especially. Pray for one another, especially for those of you who are making the final profession that your religious life may be a life of joy and peace. So you always have inner joy, inner peace. So even if you have no problems, you may recognize that you are close to the heart of Jesus. He will not forget you. May Jesus in the blessed sacrament be your joy and strength. And may Mary, the mother of Jesus, pray for you and care for you with her motherly love. God bless all of us. The selectmen will now question our sisters who want to make their final profession on their readiness to devote themselves to God and to seek perfect charity according to the rule and constitutions of the CFMSS. 
they who give their consent with the words, I am so resolved. Dear daughters, through baptism, you are already dead to sin and consecrated to the Lord. Are you resolved to unite yourself more closely to Him by the bond of perpetual profession? I am so resolved. Are you resolved, with the help of God's grace, to undertake that life of perfect chastity, poverty, and obedience which Christ our Lord and His Virgin Mother chose for themselves and to persevere in it forever? I am so resolved. Are you resolved to strive constantly for perfect love of God and of your neighbor by zealously following the gospel and the rule of this religious community? I am so resolved. Are you resolved by the grace of the Holy Spirit to spend your whole life in generous service of God's people? I am so resolved. May the one who began this good work in you see to its completion before the day of Christ Jesus. Amen. Let us all kneel now as the litany is being chanted. Join in the response and pray for our dear sisters as they prostrate themselves before the Lord in total self-surrender.
hear the prayers of your people. By your grace, prepare the hearts of your servants for the religious consecration. May the fire of the Holy Spirit purify them from all sin and make them burn with your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be I, Sister Sunita Hess, to the glory of God and with firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly, since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters, into your hands, sisters, for one day, for the whole of my life, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience according to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff in our St. and the constitution of the Clarice Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family that I may give out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints, and Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority understood to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarice Francis Commissionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament, I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. <coughs> I, Sister Monica Mazzurin, to the glory of God and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly. Since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters, into your hands, sister, for the whole of my life, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience according to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff Innocent IV, and the constitution of the Clarice Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family, that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father, St. Francis, our Mother, St. Clair, all the saints, and Mother Serapina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority and the me, I accept your words in the name of the Church for the community of Clarice Francis Commissionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, Sister Anita Soy, to the glory of God, and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly. Since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters, into your hands, sister, for the whole of my life, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of St. Clair, 
confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff Innocent III and the constitution of the Clarence Franciscan missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints and Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority understood to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarice Francis and Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, Sister Francisca Lani, to the glory of God and to the work will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly. Since the Lord has given me this grace, in the presence of the sisters, into your hands, sister, for the whole of my life, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience. According to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff Innocent Fort, and the constitution of the Clarice Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family, that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren, through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints, and Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority understood to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarice Francis and Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you honestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I'm Sister Swati Mead, to the glory of God and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly. Since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters, into your hands, sister, for the whole of my life, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience. According to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff Innocent IV, and the constitution of the Clarice Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family, that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father St. Francis, our Mother St. Claire, all the saints and Mother Seramina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority and to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarice Francis and Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. 
Amen. I sister is Langwar, to the glory of God and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly, since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters into your hands, sister, for the whole of my life, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of Saint Claire confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff in Nelson Court and the Constitution of the Clarice Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family, that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints and Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the ability and the surgery, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarish Francis and Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you honestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, Sister Anira Hampi, to the glory of God and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly. Since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters into your hands, sister, for the whole of my life, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience according to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff Innocent Fort, and the constitution of the Clarice Franciscan missionaries of the most blessed sacrament. Therefore, I address myself with all my heart to this religious family that I may live out my life total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints and Mother Serafina and the help of my sisters. By the authority understood to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarish Francis Commissioners of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, Sister Gloria Erka, to the glory of God and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly. Since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters into your hands, Sister, for the whole of my life, vows to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience according to the rule of Saint Claire confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff in Ozan Fort and the constitution of the Glorious Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints, and Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority and to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of 
Clarice Francis Revolutionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with his Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. S. Priyam to the glory of God and to the form will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly, since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters into your hands, sister, for the whole of my life, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of Saint Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff in the Saint Paul and the constitution of the Clarice Francis Commissionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father, St. Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints, and Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority understood to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarice Franciscan missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, Sister Maria Dominique, to the glory of God and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters into your hands, sister, for the whole of my life, both to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience according to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Point of Innocent Paul and the Constitution of the Glorious Franciscan Chivalries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family that I will leave out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints, and Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority entrusted to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarice Francis and Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you honestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, Sister Angela Nyansati, to the glory of God and the firm will, to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly, since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters, into your hands, Sister, for the whole of my life, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff in a St. Fort and the constitution of the Clarice Franciscan missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this, this religious family that I may lead out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Clair, all the saints, and Mother Serafina, and to help of my sisters. 
my dear Lord and Mr. Tuni, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarice Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commit you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. Father in heaven, the desire to serve you is your gift and to sustain it is your care. For this and all your gifts, we give you thanks and praise. With the love no words can tell, you created the family of humanity through your word in the Holy Spirit. You took our human nature into communion with yourself. You made it your bride, radiant with your own likeness and adorned with the gifts of everlasting life. Even though your bride was deceived by the devil and broke faith, you did not abandon her. Love for your servant Noah moved you to renew the covenant you first made with Adam. Then from the race of Abraham, the man of faith, you chose a people destined to outnumber the stars of heaven. By the hand of Moses, you sealed a covenant with them in the tables of the law. From age to age, there arose from this favored people holy women renowned for devotion and courage, sanctity and faith. In the fullness of time, you raised up a holy virgin from the stock of Jesse. The Holy Spirit was to come upon her, and your power overshadowed her making her the Immaculate Mother of the world's Redeemer. He was poor, humble and obedient, the source and pattern of all holiness. He made the Church his bride, loving it with love so great that he gave himself up for it and sanctified it in his blood. In your loving wisdom, you have led countless daughters of yours to follow him as disciples and be honored as brides. With the rich variety, Holy Church is a garden of many splendors, a bride adorned with jewels, a queen robed in grace, a mother rejoicing in her children. Father, we earnestly pray you, send the fire of your Holy Spirit to warm into flame the resolve he has kindled in the hearts of your daughters. 
Lord, may the glory of their baptism shine again with the innocence of newborn life. Strengthened by the vows of their consecration, may they be always one with you in fervent love, faithful to Christ their only spouse. May they cherish Mother Church and love the whole world with all embracing charity, teaching it to look forward in joy and hope to the good things of heaven. Lord, Holy Father, guide the steps of your servants and guard them in their pilgrimage. At the judgment seat of the King of heaven, let them not fear him as their judge, but hear the voice of the bridegroom inviting them to the wedding feast of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As a symbol of their fidelity, the professed sisters will receive the ring and the crucifix, which is symbolic of the pledge of God's love that consecrates them anew in Jesus Christ. Receive this ring, for you are betrothed to the eternal King. Keep the true faith with your spouse, so that you may come to the wedding feast of eternal joy. Amen. Receive, dear daughter, the image of our Lord Jesus Christ, and place it as a seal upon your heart. If you are conformed to his passion during your lovely pilgrimage, you will share in the glory of his resurrection in the heavenly Father's land. Amen. Receive this ring, for you are the children of the eternal King. Keep true faith with your spouse, so that you may come to the wedding feast of eternal joy. Amen. Receive, dear daughter, the image of our Lord Jesus Christ and place it as a seal upon your heart. If you are conformed to his passion during your earthly pilgrimage, you will share in the glory of his resurrection in the heavenly Father's land. Amen. Receive this ring, for you are withdrawn to the eternal king. Keep true faith with your spouse, so that you may come to the wedding feast of eternal joy. Amen. Receive, dear daughter, the image of our Lord Jesus Christ, and place it as a seal upon your heart. If you are conformed to his passion during your earthly pilgrimage, you will share in the glory of his resurrection in the heavenly Father's land. Amen. Receive this ring, for you are bestowed the eternal king. Keep true faith with your spouse, so that you may come to the wedding feast of eternal joy. Amen. Receive, dear daughter, the image of our Lord Jesus Christ and place it as a seal upon your heart. If you are conformed to his passion during your earthly pilgrimage, you will share in the glory of his resurrection in the heavenly Father's land. Amen. Receive this ring, for you are withdrawn to the eternal king. Keep two faith with your spouse, so that you may come to the wedding feast of eternal joy. Amen. Receive, dear daughter, the image of our Lord Jesus Christ, and place it as a zeal upon your heart. If you are conformed to his passion during your earthly pilgrimage, you will share in the glory of his resurrection in the heavenly Father's land. Amen.
receive this right for your betrothed eternity. Keep true faith with your spouse so that you may come to the wedding feast of eternal joy. Amen. Receive, dear daughter, the image of our Lord Jesus Christ and place it as a seal upon your heart. If you are conformed to his passion during your earthly pilgrimage, you will share in the glory of his resurrection in the heavenly Father's land. Amen. Receive this ring, for you are restored to the eternal king. Keep true faith with your spouse, so that you may come to the wedding feast of eternal joy. Amen. Receive, dear daughter, the image of our Lord Jesus Christ, and place it as a seal upon your heart. If you are conformed to his passion during your earthly pilgrimage, you will share in the glory of his resurrection in the heavenly Father's land. Amen. Receive this ring for your betrothed eternal king. Keep true faith with your spouse so that you may come to the very peace of eternal joy. Amen. Receive, dear daughter, the image of our Lord Jesus Christ and place it as a seal upon your heart. If you are conformed to his passion during your earthly pilgrimage, you will share the glory of his resurrection in the heavenly Father's land. Amen. Receive this ring, for you are withdrawn the eternal king. Keep true faith with your spouse, so that you may come to the very feast of eternal joy. Receive, dear daughter, the image of our Lord Jesus Christ and place it as a seal upon your heart. If you are conformed to his passion during his earthly pilgrimage, you will share in the glory of his resurrection in the heavenly Father's land. Amen. Receive this ring for you are withdrawn to the eternal king. Keep true faith in your spouse, so that you may come to the wedding feast of eternal joy. Amen. Receive, dear daughter, the image of our Lord Jesus Christ, and place it as a seal upon your heart. If you are conformed to his passion during your earthly pilgrimage, you will share in the glory of his resurrection in the heavenly Father's land. Amen. Receive this ring for you are the of the eternal king. Keep true faith with your spouse so that you may come to the wedding feast of eternal joy. Amen. Receive your daughter, the image of our Lord Jesus Christ, and place it as a seal upon your heart. If you are conformed to his passion during your earthly pilgrimage, you will share the glory of his resurrection in the heavenly Father's land. Amen. Let us share the joy of our dear sisters as we sing the Thanksgiving hymn.
confirm that you are now one with us as members of this religious community of Clarish Francis Commissionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament, sharing all things in common with us for the future. Fulfill loyally the ministry entrusted to you by the Church to be carried out in her name. We assure you of our loving support to stand by you all through your life as you face the challenges of your mission. Most welcome to our religious family. and the religious profession of these sisters. Let us offer our praise to God our Father through Jesus Christ, who is the source of our life. Let your response be, Lord graciously hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Lord, we pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, your vigor on earth, the cardinals, bishops, and priests. Bless them, Lord, with good health. Guide them with the spirit of truth and divine wisdom in living up to the ideas and values you have given them in carrying out the mission in the church and in the world at large. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, please hear us. Jesus, our good shepherd, we are grateful to you for, all, for the gracious presence of his grace, most reverend Archbishop, John Melotira, fathers, bless their intentions and the people under their care. Continue to overpower them with your wisdom, knowledge and understanding to carry out their ministry entrusted to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, please hear us. Lord, we place before you our institute, our superior general, a reverend mother, Karuna Guruvantanam and her team, Reverend Sister Dina Pulikachandayan and her team, who are entrusted with the responsibility to lead our institute and our province. Lord, may you be their source of wisdom, inspiration, and guide so that they may read the signs of the time and guide every sister of our institute in the true spirit to be an ardent missionaries spreading your Eucharistic love to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the leaders of our country that they may be motivated by the spirit of service and work selflessly for the betterment and upliftment of every citizen, that everyone may experience peace, harmony, and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. Unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains a single grain. Lord Jesus, we pray for our sisters who have offered themselves totally to you. Bless them with your strength, love, grace, that they may be able to die themselves each moment and thus experience the fullness of life in you. Help them to draw strength from your Eucharistic Jesus and be a hope and inspiration to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord Jesus, hear us. We pray for the parents, brothers, sisters, near and dear ones of our dear sisters, who have willingly and generously offered their daughters for the service of God. Lord, bless them and fill them with your love, peace and happiness. Grant protection and prosperity in their life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. The harvest is great and plentiful, but the laborers are few to gather it. Lord, we pray for good vocations to the church. Bless the youths and guide them to choose the right path, and especially that they may listen and respond generously to your call and to shun all evils, temptations, and luxuries of modern living. 
that takes them away from you. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all the sick and ailing members of our society, especially those who are suffering due to the pandemic. Lord, may they experience comfort and strength to bear the agony, pain and discouragement, and may they receive your healing touch. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, we pray for all the sisters of Mother Serafina province, all those who have contributed in all possible ways towards the realization of this event. Bless them, Lord, and may they see your hand at work in all the events and happiness of their lives. May you be their source of life and fulfill your will in all that they do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for us present here in this banquet of love. Lord, grant us with your choicest blessings to grow in union with you and accompany us in our journey towards you. Thus, we may become powerful channels of your grace and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, look upon your people. You know the many different needs of your people have in their lives. Mercifully hear the prayers of your people and by the intercession of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, grant to these your servants the grace of perseverance. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May God accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Receive the gifts and intentions of your servants, O Lord, and confirm in your love those who profess the evangelical counsels through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. He is the unblemished, he is the unblemished flower who sprang from the root of the Virgin and declared the pure of heart blessed, teaching by his way of life the surpassing worth of chastity. He chose always to hold fast to what is pleasing to you and becoming obedient for our sake even until death. He willingly offered himself to you as a fragrant sacrifice. He consecrated to a fuller service of your majesty those who, for love of you, leave all earthly things and promised they would find treasure in heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. <laughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
remember Lord will church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together together with Francis of Pope and John of Bishop in all the theology. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Our mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Francis, Saint Claire, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, our mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And we just spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter out of my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be
rejoicing to bear the burdens of your brothers and sisters. Amen. May the charity of God make of you a family brought together in the Lord's name to show forth the image of the love of Christ. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here for the sacred rites, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please be seated. Now, Sister Swati and Sister Sarah will lead us in a few words of thanks. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God with all my life. Yes, along with the psalmist, we raise our hearts in gratitude to the Almighty God for all the marvelous works He has done in our lives, especially for having chosen us to work for the expansion of His kingdom and to be a part of this family of Clarice Franciscan, missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament, and for journeying with us till this day. Gratitude is the fairest blossom that springs from soul. Today, on behalf of my companions, I take this privilege to stand before you all to express our sincere thanks to each one of you present here for today's program. We are indeed grateful and blessed to have Most Reverend John Lachira, the Archbishop of Gohati Diocese, for your valuable presence in the midst of us. Thank you, Your Grace, for generously in accepting our invitation and presiding over this Holy Eucharist meaningfully with good and inspiring homily. Our hearts are thrilled with joy and gratitude to our Provincial Superior, Reverend Sister Dina Kulikachandil, for accepting us into the CFMSS family. Thank you, Sister, for being the source of inspiration and support. We are indebted to you, dear sister, for your love, knowledge, selfless service, and exemplary life. A special thanks to our dear sister of the provincial team for your constant accompaniment and encouragement. Thank you, dear sisters, for giving us the opportunity to spend the first years in study, reflection, and intensive prayer, wherein we would discern our vocation to be more strong with conviction and commitment. People will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. It's true, and we acknowledge the Reverend Sister Joyce the provincial superior of St. Francis Province, Delhi, and her team for your constant support and guidance while we were in Delhi. Our hearts go speak beyond words to Sister Matilda and Sister Mercy, Sister Leonie and Sister Selsa, and sisters at St. Anthony's Community House Cars and Faridabad for taking care of us as a mother and sister during our quarantine period. And while we were affected with coronavirus, you took two extra miles to serve us with daring spirit without counting your own health. May the good Lord continue to pour out his abundance of graces and blessings upon you always. 
it is our pleasure to extend our sincere thanks to our superior general most reverend mc karuna kurupantanam for her motherly care and concern and supporting us with her words of encouragement to be true daughters of saint francis mother claire and our founders venerable mother serapina our hearts are drink with joy to say a words of gratitude to our former provincial reverend sister deepika tehanadi who was constantly accompanying us during the past years and was always available to listen support and encourage us to go forward in our life journey with values of Christ and our total commitment to God it said that life is always easier when we hear a mentor's footstep beside you yes my dear sisters Our hearts are filled with joy and happiness to express our love and gratitude to our formators who have played a vital role in our life's journey at different stages of formation. Thank you dear sisters for your love and care, acceptance, self-sacrifice, patience, availability and simplicity. which kept us cheerful and felt at home during the initial stage of our formation and for inculcating in us the love for the eucharistic jesus as well as for our institute the spirituality of our father saint francis our mother saint claire and our founders mother serapina gave us the pavement to follow the radical path of Christ. Your encouragement and moral support have helped us to discern and respond to our call faithfully. We express our gratefulness to our parents, brothers and sisters, relatives, teachers, friends and well-wishers for their prayers, support and encouragement from time to time. May God grant you hundredfold of blessings and envelop you in his loving care and protection. We are grateful to our dear fathers at Porcho Paris, OSJ fathers at Lohaghat, SDB fathers at Ajra, for your generosity to reach out in our spiritual need. We are indebted to our fathers at Dhanavana Mysore for assisting us during our spirituality course and especially for their generosity to accommodate us during our first lockdown period and made us feel at home while we were away from our communities. Dear fathers, we remain grateful to you and we seek God's choices blessing upon you that you may have the grace to fulfill the mission of God which he has begun in you. We fondly remember all the sisters in the communities with whom we have lived and cherished. Thank you dear sisters for the love, care, acceptance and understanding we have received from you. A special mention to Sister Francina and her community for your availability and service mindedness for to serve us during our quarantine period and praying for us as we take the new step in the journey of our religious life. May God reward you all with good health and happiness to enkindle the love of Christ to all. A big thanks goes to our sisters Gravita and Christina junior sisters and postulants for making this day a memorable one with their melodious voice. We thank Sister Nirmala and sisters for taking this altar beautifully. A special thanks to Sir Gunjan and Sister Mahler for their photos and videos. May God bless you.
is a privilege to thank Sister Jane and the Bronx Lake community for arranging this program here and making it an unforgettable one. Last but not the least, we humbly acknowledge the esteemed presence of all our dear sisters and well wishes for your graceful presence in amidst us to pray for us and bless us on this day. Your presence doubled our joy and enhanced the solemnity. Continue to pray for us. Once again, thanks to one and all. Now, Sister Francina will read out the message of Mother General, Most Reverend Karuna Purvandana. Go and kindle and carry the love of the Eucharistic Jesus to all. Venerable Mother Serafina, Dear Sisters, Sister Sunita, Sister Monica, Sister Anita Soy, Sister Francisca Langi, Sister Swati Minch, Sister Visukilangwar, Sister Annie Rohangpi, Sister Gloria Ekka, Sister S. Priya, Sister Maria Lam, and Sister Angela Nia. It, it indeed gives me great joy in uniting myself with you, dear sisters. On this 29th day of July 2021, at Sarafina Nivas from Shalate, Gohati, as you profess your perpetual commitment to God. You have made the day very significant for our institute of the Clarity Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament with your yes to the call of Christ Jesus to be of his own forever. The entire institute rejoices with you and heaven showers manifold blessings upon you on this auspicious day of your life. I thank the giver of life for the precious gift of each one of you to our religious family. My sincere thanks and prayers for the members of your family who formed you in Christian faith and gifted you to the CFMS's family. Congratulations, dear sisters, for your yes that express your faithfulness to the Lord who called you to live a life centered around the Eucharist. As I bless and pray for you, dear daughters, I exhort you in the words of Venerable Mother Serafina, a spouse of Christ should always live for God, with God, in God, in Jesus her every good. May you be faithful to our beloved spouse with the fidelity to the promise you have pledged him. May love, purity, ardor, and self-denial be the inseparable companions of your thoughts, affections, desires, aspirations, words, and actions, all of which should be oriented to the attainment of our objective namely union with God. I place each of you into the mantle of the Blessed Virgin Mary to be drawn totally to her Son in the Eucharist as you march forward carrying his mysteries to the world. With a warm and fraternal embrace of love in union with Christ, Mother M.C. Karuna, and sisters of the General Council. Now we request Reverend Archbishop and Council Reverends to stand for the photo session with our finally professed sisters. <laughs> <laughs> 